Whoops. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Mofa Project. And uh, today, uh, I want to show you something first before we kind of get started. Hmm. Since that, well, there is a prop, and there is no data. Is there? No, there is no data. Damn it. Yeah. Well, just hold on a sec. Ah, there it is. Ah, the data. All right. Sorry. Um. Took me longer than I would suspect it. Otherwise, the intro would have worked correctly. Anyway, um, so today I wanted to be talking to you uh, guys about something very important before we can get started. So, you know about the last time I drew, right? Uh, I normally, you know, when you draw, when you draw or draw things, you actually improve upon your drawing. Oh, hey, Baka, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well here. So, the first thing first that I'm going to be showing you guys before I'm going to be going back to the Morpha project is that I actually improved on myself upon the drawing itself. So, let's for instance take, you know, Anime Girls. The, this was the first time I tried, and it was a blatant copy of, uh, of, of, of a drawing, alright? Now I actually fixed it by, you know, implementing, you know, the same things, the same ways, and now I already got this far. Even though you know the hand, the this hand over here is too small, and this one is, and this one uh, is a little bit odd position, but that that's the only thing that I uh, I need to uh, need to get better now at. And then you know I can get f uh, and I will get forward into that problem. So yeah, I actually improved upon my own, upon the first drawing I did, and now this one. So you can already see that it is way better than before. Which is really nice to see that there is improvement upon everything that you do. As long as you as long as you work on, you know, your as long as you work and you constantly try to get better at it, it will be better. Oh, yeah. That's true. He is adorable. He's an adorable little puppy. Well technically it's no longer a puppy, but he's an adorable nonetheless. So let's continue back to where we were. And that was actually working on the uh, on the on these bad boys. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, had a lovely day because I did. And uh, let's get started on this because holy hell, it takes a long time before I'm be able to do things. But yeah, I imp improved upon myself upon my own drawing, and I tried to do it again. So. Maybe this week I will do make a new one and di I will make the same person but then in a different position. So yeah, other aim, uh, another emotion, uh, another in new, uh, other emotion. Yeah, there you go. So let's see if this is the correct thing that we need to edit. First things first, is this the one that we need to edit? I think it is. Yep, it is. Awesome. All right, let's get started on this. So today we're going to be coloring again, you know, using the same red po color palette to impro uh, to get the rest of the of the drawing done. And I need to get the uh, this one. Yeah, thank you. So if I believe this. Is this the right color? Uh, double check. Yes, it is. Awesome. So yeah, I actually improved upon my own drawing, uh, on my upon my own drawing skills, and uh, you know, by time I will get better at it. Eventually, you know, I will be the best, but that's gonna be taking a while. <laughs> But I'll try to do my very best to be, you know, me, and try to do my very best upon drawing. So, yeah, I actually improved, and I'm very happy that I did so. Last time I, the lo the the next time, you know, when I try to draw, oh, next time I will draw, I will even draw her better. And then, you know, I will be able to do more with it. So, yeah, the uh, the, the idea of, you know drawing stuff and then improve it upon it, it's a really delightful thing to see. Also, um, 
lots of snow here apparently. It has been snowing every single day right now. And I'm like, whoa, how? This place is supposed to be a frog country. It's supposed to be wet, not not cold. I know, you know, we didn't see such a heavy amount of uh, cold winter or a heavy amount of snow since five years ago. So, yeah. I'm glad it's back for now. Yeah. Get better at things. Yep. Things need to get better at. So yeah, um I hope you guys are doing actually quite well today. Because, you know, it's important. It's always important to make sure that everybody is doing it and doing well. It would be horrible if somebody's not doing well and you're not saying that they're not doing well. Well, that would be not great. Anyway, uh Apparently, the idea of, you know, drawing is actually quite important for me. Also, improving upon my art style, improving upon my drawing, improving upon my outlines, and, you know, improving upon this. You know, back back when I was, you know, only drawing on the, uh, on the paper and pencil, I was not actually uh, quite improving. I was always stuck to the same thing. I want snow. I had like the f uh, the f uh, the finest flurry of at 3 p.m. and then nothing. Oh well, that's uh that's sad. No snow. Ugh, I know what it feels, Becca. It's so annoying when you don't have snow, especially if you want snow. I had one. I had problems with snow a long time already. Like we had y y last year, we even didn't had any snow at all. It was all wet and sticky. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope. Uh, so yeah, the the main idea here is that you know I'm trying to improve upon the uh, up, upon everything I drew and uh, or what everything I draw, and uh, so far I'm getting better at making human humans so that's a thing I said that I was doing that I said I wanted to improve on upon that and I'm getting pretty good at it I must not say that I'm the best of course but I'm getting better at it so that's a thing I can now show emotions that's already a thing it's uh it's a it's a start all right it's a start next time I will be able to draw it even but I will draw even better so you got that from I think. So um so this Morpha project. Um you it's probably not the fastest thing in the world that's going on right now, but it's a project nonetheless. It it I constantly work on it. I'm trying to do me do my very best to do it like that. My cousin lives across the country and oh, they are sending them uh they're sending them pics of them playing in the snow with that dog. It's super. <laughs> Oof. Feels bad. Feels bad. Ugh. Yeah. Well, at least you know, you're you're not li literally digged in by snow. I had to move the snow again today, and so yeah, that's also a thing. We had like lots of snow, but. The snow is it's really cold and really uh the already the fresh snow that has been laid down is already getting frozen, so yeah, it's all gonna be slippery slippery soon. N not even cars can move out of the snow most of the times because we didn't salt the roads, but yeah, that's our bad, so. The idea here is that I'm trying to do my very best upon getting this whole system done. Well, this whole, you know, feather placement done, and then once that's done, we can finally move on to the next part, which is going to be the second part of the tail, because apparently I missed that. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah. Now, nah, we're just digged in by lockdown. <laughs> digged in. 
Well, I hope you're finding gold then, because that's important. There is no if you don't find gold when you're digging, well, you know. Ah, do da bo do bo ba bo ba di bo ba and of course the tool the main tool is not here. Alright, fine. So yeah. I'm trying to do my very best here and uh I hope uh, I hope everybody likes it. So so uh let's see. So the funny thing is actually I saw my mistakes after I finished the drawing of the new uh, of of the new anime girl. Uh, I would not say it's an anime girl, but it is an anime girl in the aspect of it. So yeah. Um what I found out was actually that the hands were too tiny. So the hand the, the thumbs of the hands were too tiny and uh the the length of the arms was uh, too short. Which creates an odd feeling, but the good news is I I saw my mistake and I I next time I will be able to improve upon myself. That's the whole thing about this, you know. I'm learning stuff and uh, learning stuff is important. If you don't learn then well things go bad. And I mean really, they will lack you will be lacking. You will be lacking special uh, speciality. Or well, you will be lacking skills, and those skills are sometimes important. Even though they might not be important right now, they might be important later. Which is important. Because, you know. It's like making it's like making a deal because you want because you want to have fame. And then you realize that once you had the fame, you have to work for it. Oh no. You have to work for your damn fame? What? How? What? No, that's not how it works. Yes. That's how it works, and uh, people appreciate you for working. You will get you will get motivations, and uh, those motivations will be then used for your guidance. If you are if you are a hardworking person or hardworking individual, like I would say me, yeah, well, let's go for me now. Like I'm trying to work really hard on these projects to get them get them done. Especially, you know, the off-screen, not this, but the off-screen project that I'm working on, I'm working really hard on. And they show, and they show, the progress is shown. Which makes me really happy that I, I am already this far. Which means that I can do it, you know. I, work, what, is that a thing? Yeah, apparently that it's a thing, Becca, apparently. Normally in my, in my vocabulary, work. Yeah, is not allowed to be spoken. But yeah, um, I'm trying. I I am a person that wants to get everything done correctly, and I try to improve upon that aspect of me trying to get everything done. But it takes a lot of time. Also, I promised myself to be a better person by able to be able to draw a lot of new things. Like for instance. Humans, yeah, humans, very spooky things, very spooky. So yeah, I try to do my very best upon drawing humans. And I noticed once I was playing with Crow on the uh, once I was playing with Crow with D and D, then yeah, it uh, he was like, yeah, we need tokens. All right, fine, I'll I'll make my own token then for D and D because you know it's a fun little exercise. I can do it. Oh hey, space junk. Well, nobody told me that. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens. People always, people always have some uh, snakes in, uh, under the grass. So yeah, um, I I asked. Uh, I was like, wait a minute. If you're gonna be using tokens for this game, then I will make my own token because that way I can show people off that like what the representation what the representation is of this uh, of this uh, of of my character. All right, fine. I'll I'll fix it myself. Jeez, I was hoping that I need not needed to do that. But yeah, the good news is that uh, that I that all of this is now like you know I'm trying to do my very best upon getting there. And uh, it's uh, definitely there. So I made my own token, 
and uh, that token is now is gonna be used for the game. So, yay me! And I think I did a pretty good job on it. I really liked how it how it ended, or how how it looked in the end. So, I'm very happy upon that. So every single time, you know, the, the I'm on the board, then I can see it. Like, oh yeah, that's my character. There, there, there she is. So yeah. Spussy, spe, spe, spe. Oh, sorry. Sp <laughs> you just have to say space, and then you know, you know, you know where you need to go. If you ever went to a space junkyard, oh man, those places are awesome. They always sell lots of good goody to shoot things, like broken destabilizers and. Uh, all that lovely stuff that you can find in a scrapyard. It's awesome. You could even make a rocket ship out of them. Anyway. So yeah, um, how I actually did the coloring was actually important for me. Like, all right, what what kind of what kind of colors did I need for the for the dress? Well, uh, but. By the way, it was actually quite fun to look up the lore upon High Elves of D&D, &D, you know, and then w working for the god that they uh, worship, and I was like, ah, alright, so I need to go for purple blue. With silver. Nice. And then, of course, I came to the conclusion, like, wait a minute, how do I make silver? And I was like, ah, just try some, just try some colorations. Yep. And eventually I found out how to do it. The main problem I had to deal with was the hands, the hair, and the, uh, well, torso. That was actually one of the most difficult things I ever came around. So yeah, the most difficult thing are those things for me. The hands, the hair, and the torso were really hard. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Space junkyards are awesome. You you can find a lot of stuff there, and they are always and they always sell they always sell and they always sell the good stuff there. If you ever want to if you ever want to go to on an illegal market, you know, don't do that. Just go to a space junkyard. They they have like broken spaceships. You can make them into you know, I don't know. I bel I believe in the supermarket they have always these things like you know these space shuttles that are always broken that you can ri and that can let your children ride on. Those play those things, yeah, they they sell them too. Anyway, what was I? Oh yeah, I was talking about that. So yeah, I had a lot of trouble with the hands and the hair. The main problem with the hair was like, how do the f how do how how the hell do I do this? Because I had no clue how to make hair. Trust me, I was emptiness. I was like, er, uh, right. Thank God that space junk helped me with the torso because holy hell, that was a that was a nightmare. It is a nightmare if you're trying to make something and then you know it doesn't look like something, and then you did you did the thing that you needed to do and then it looks better. Then it looks way better. So yeah. Of course, always remember never blatantly copy somebody else's art. Always try to use aspects of them. So that you know you have your own unique one, and that's what I did. I care. I I the facial expression I borrowed from one, uh, the torso I borrowed from one, and added it into my position into a good position. The hands I borrowed from one, like not blatantly copying it, but you know looking at it like, huh, how did you do that? And then you know it's like, oh, I know. So yeah. It's quite important that you know you can see all all of it, or what whatever it's called. I I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit tired here. So um yeah. So yeah, I improved upon my artwork by you know using using the power of you know help and. Uh, the power of uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, looking and 
tinking and all that stuff, so yeah. At the end I got myself a decent looking creation, so I, I, I'm very happy how far I got. I remember back in the day that uh, I could not even draw a single a single face and uh, let's let's stand uh, drawing a, let's stand drawing a woman. So yeah, it's really hard for me at least to do such things, such progress, such um. Ugh, my 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 belly is going nuts. So yeah, the power of looking and thinking. Yeah, the power of looking and thinking is it's it's uh it's concrete, it's concrete evidence that if you if you think, you somehow get to an idea. I don't know how you get to an idea, but it is it is really helpful to do that kind of thing. So. Yeah, I improved upon the drawing. I improved by, you know, looking at stuff, seeing how other people do it. And then, once I was done with all that stuff, I actually improved upon what I, what I made. I next The next time I will try to make the same, and then try to improve upon that aspect of, you know, fixing certain type, uh, going for a different pose. To oppose a challenge and then go for a different emotion as well and then go for um how do you say the right things like you know making sure that the hands are uh, equal equally long and don't you know are not well strange looking yeah that's the word strange looking <laughs> looking at power eye googles yeah so yeah, the, the the whole thing, the whole thing. I I think I got it, and I think Crow is also very satisfied that I you know delivered him a a, a token that uh, you know that is a good representation of my uh, of my cre of my um, character. Even though you know it's even though you know, I believe I believe we have two people that are. Really serious uh, people when it comes to getting jobs done, and I'm just trying to be this protective, yeah, protective girl if I'm correct. I'm just trying to protect people from themselves and from and from enemies. So, so yeah, I'm using protective magic. Oh, what kind of DPS do you do? None. <laughs> so yeah. Getting, keeping, getting people, uh, putting guidance on people and all that stuff. It's lovely. But yeah, it's uh, it's important that uh, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting everything here done. So I hope. Uh, da, 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 da. I hope though that uh, that you know, once I get the whole facial recognitions correctly done. That I d uh, that I can look for like oh yes this is the facial recognition of that and that and that and that and then you know I have everything that I can do and then I can draw more other cr uh, other people so yeah it would be lovely if I could do that anyway so uh, yeah. We're to totally not talking about the Malfa project because, you know, it's all the same thing. It's just drawing bloody damn rat fat, drawing rat stuff on the fattest. That's all it needs to be. That's that's the whole damn joke. That's the whole damn thing. That's 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 my boy. That's uh, that's what it looks like. That's what it feels like. That's. That's the whole damn thing of this Morpha project. It, it is so a lot of it's all the same every single time because of all the stuff we need to do, all the preparations, all the you know effects that we need to add to the wings. So yeah. Oh, hey Blue. 
So yeah, um, that's why it is not that interesting to, you know, hear what I need to do with the Martha project if there is nothing to do. Or, well, there is a lot to do, but it is all the same. <laughs> It's like, yeah, what I'm gonna be doing today? Well, the same thing as I always do, Pinky. Try to call this bloody damn fetism. So yeah, I hope it, uh, I hope you guys didn't mind if I was talking about something else and just you know, the Morpha project because then it is all simple and empty. Because you know there is not a lot of talking about the Morpha project if you know we're already doing it. So yeah, um. Going back to what I was thinking about in the first place, anyway, I just had to let this go. Um, the improvements I did lately, I am very happy upon that, and uh, I hope I will be able to do it even more. So yeah, I'm gonna be working uh, next tomorrow again on the uh, on the next emotion e emotion, so that I have a better facial expression of emotions. So I have like this facial expression sheet. Yeah, sort of, but not that, but I want to do a fully body, because full body with, with face is important, more important for me than, you know, only face. But yeah, I'm trying to do my very best to keep, to keep the same, just drawing the same, and then making sure that, since I'm drawing the same uh, person, I need to keep the consistency in the colors and all that stuff, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying to draw the re the rest of the emotions of, of the D and D of the D and D character that I'm trying to uh, that, I'm, uh, that I made for the for the, for the, for the stream, and I'm gonna be trying to uh, get uh, get everything done properly. Oh well, get everything done equally? No. Get everything done so that, you know, I have like all the emotion sheets I can pull off. So that, you know, it feels more alive. And it's also a fun practice, so, you know, win win situation here. It's a fun practice for me, it's a fun practice for other people to see, so. I don't see any problems with that. You know, trying to keep. Trying to draw the D and D character in different kind of poses or emotions or states, that would be lovely. So yeah, um, so far we're almost uh, thirty minutes in. Yep. Oh hey, Dunkelzan, nice to see you as well. So yeah, wait, hold on, is this, huh, oh boy, I have problems here, yep, I do have problems here, the problem is that this drawing here is not fully done. Yep, anyway. So yeah, um, I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my stuff done, and uh, that that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be great. I'm trying to get the emotions done. I'm trying to get everything done as it looks like, and uh, hopefully I will be able to show you guys it later on. Because it's very hard to do such things. Trust me, it's very hard to do these types of emotions when you know I never saw something like that. I never saw something, and you know, I always need a reference of life to get my stuff done and draw it. So, if I don't experience certain types of textures, I cannot see them. Uh, apparently, I'm blind to certain things. Like, oh, do you know that a lizard has skills? And I'm like, yes, because I saw them. If I would not have seen a lizard, I would not have, not have known that they had skills. So, yeah, experience for. Experience is important for me if I want to create textures for the uh, drawings that I make, like these kind of type of drawings, and uh, expressions on the face, expressions on the body are important for me to learn, 
because eventually now I do need to draw humans, so why not a little nothing that a little uh, nothing that a little fun a little fun job can do. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting that drawing done. Oh well, the next part of the drawing done. So yeah. Or at least I am excited to work on it again because I had my motivations and now my motivations are back, baby. I well, I had different mindset today, so that's why I didn't work on it. Otherwise, I would have done it. Uh, so yeah, all this, all this red. Oh my god, it's so much work. And they said I was, and they said I was mad drawing all these feathers and then you know working on this like that yep so yeah um that's what i'm doing now drawing drawing these color over the feathers so that i can then finally get the other part of the feathers done anyway um wow six people already nice um so yeah it's quite fun to see what how far I already got and how far I'm improving, and it feels all all the time like every single time I draw, I improve, and somehow that's true, and I'm very happy upon that. Even though you know sometimes it's hard to see that I improve, but the more I'm the more I'm getting used to this beautiful you know, uh, this beautiful tablet right here, the better I get at it the more you know I can do with it and the more I can do with it the more I learn so for instance I found something very interesting yes something very interesting indeed they said you were mad yeah you're mad dammit <laughs> I wanna show you guys something that I found out alright hold, hold your horses um, That's the one, right? Yep, that's the one, alright. So, allow me to show you what I learned, alright? Behold! Na -na 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 -na. Yeah, that's a little bit too much, but allow me to just show you. Oh man, that's ugly. Woo! That's ugly. Holy hell, that's ugly. What happened? Hmm. You're probably wondering what's going on. Well, I want to show you what happened if I do the uh if I increase the strokes that I drew. But because I'm using this guy type of texture, it's impossible. But what it actually does is like this. Um if I normally draw this, then this will look like that. But if I do it like um if I had the texture on it, it will look instead like this. So it would look like a stroke instead of uh, something that is like a charcoal uh, drawing. So that's the idea. That's the whole. Uh, that's the whole funny thing about it, and I'm very happy that 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 is a thing. No, oh, 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 I need to go here, right? Alright, cool. So yeah, um, it's quite interesting to see that you know that I found a way to uh, create to create different types of outlines. So a different ty a different way of creating outlines. It's not a very handy dandy way because sometimes it does feel a little bit strange. I must say, but it it it's doable. And you you just have to make sure that you adjust the amount of outlines that you have like different uh, sizes otherwise they will all look the same and then you don't have anything anyway um, so yeah it's a way to create outlines and I used it for the drawing if I believe if I believe so or did I remove it eh one of the one of them or both probably both but no, wait, I didn't use them. At, at the end, I didn't use it because it was not suitable. 
But yeah, it was a different way of finding uh, to create outlines, and uh, I'm very happy that I discovered it. But you know, it's not useful. But it's a way. It's a thing that might be hap might be able to be used in future uh, events. So yeah. So uh, talking, talking, thinking. Uh, so. That's how that's how I actually gain you know knowledge, experimenting, working, drawing, and then keeping that beautiful time working. So just try doing drawings, and then you know once you're doing more drawings, the, you will get better in the end. Maybe the first time you do it, you won't see any difference. But the second time you do it, you will see different. And the third time, you're gonna be seeing more. And then the fourth time, you're gonna be perfecting the first. You're gonna be perf being perfecting it. And then the fifth time, you're gonna be perfecting the perfecting uh, perfecting part, which then increases even more detail. And then if you then compare the five, the se this, uh, the sixth one, with the first one, you're gonna see a lot of difference. Anyway, that's how uh, learning works in drawing, at least. Of course, it's really hard sometimes for people to draw uh, certain things. And, uh, well, what, what the old man always says, practice makes perfect. Because, you know, if a couple of animals are in... Uh, if there are a couple of animals together, it's called a, it's called a zoo, unless it's a farm. So yeah, I think uh, that's uh, that's true. I think that's so true. So so yeah, the, the improvements are important, and the more and the more you draw, the better you get at it, and the better you get at it, the more likely you will succeed. Of course, you're not going to be succeeding at the first try. Hell no, that's. Uh, that's baloney business. That's uh, if you would have succeeded in the first try, what's would send the fun about doing it. So yeah, um, it's important that the it's important for me then that I do this, like this, just you know, experimenting, getting better at it, improving myself, and then eventually you know, once I make a second, once once I'm gonna be making more of these humans. Probably they will look even better than before. They will be looking far more greater, far more stronger, far more better than humans that uh, were before it. And eventually, you know, I will be able to draw humans, and then I will say, "I did it! Look at me, God! I made humans. See, I can do it." And then you know, I can rub it in his face or something. I don't know, something in that in that in that occasion. So yeah, it's important that that I achieve that goal because that way I can learn how to do it more properly. And of course, you know, it's improvement for my style. It's improvement for the other style that I'm using. This style requires nature and creatures instead of humans because humans I can draw, but it's different. It looks different. It doesn't feel like humans. They don't feel like humans. They look more like gorillas with a little bit too much biceps. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon improving those as well, but hey, you know, I cannot do everything myself. Otherwise I would be called God, so yeah. Um, I'm trying to improve and uh, I'm definitely improving. That's a, that's, that's a short story about it. Even though, you know, we're gonna be constantly talking about it because I have clearly no idea what I'm going to be talking about anyway, and and this is th this is the newest of the news. So yeah, I guess it's good enough. So yeah. Um, also, um, quick heads up: um, if you ever want to have snow, I would not recommend it. Um, I did some I did some shoveling and. Uh, to Today removing the snow was easy, and then tomorrow it's gonna be really hard. So, ah, uh, it's like what the hell happened? Even though you know I'm very happy that there is snow, you know what I'm very sad about is that because Corona is still there, 
the uh, event that might be happening in 50 years that might happen like what was it 50 years ago no 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 5 6 7 20 30 years ago I believe 30 years ago in our place in our beautiful country is not gonna be happening what is it yeah snow is good yes it is but what the there is a there is a like uh, ice skating everybody knows that word all right cool so normally when uh, people are hyped once we are having this kind of winter it's very strong and cold winter and um, the the whole world in our place, you know, our provinces and um, our country, uh, we like to see, uh, we like to uh, do something. What do we want to do? Well, we want to ride, uh, well, ice skate on the rivers and then go for a 20 kilometer, uh, 20 kilometer, um, or yeah, 20 kilometer or 20, 20 uh, feet, 20. 20,000 feet, yeah, 20,000 feet, yeah, that's correct, right? 20 kilometers of, uh, of, um, ice skating, yes, so it's like a marathon, a marathon on ice, by, you know, a natural ice, so it's a marathon on natural ice, this has not occurred for a long time, and now it's finally back, uh, this might be happening again, which is quite excited, only the sad thing is nobody can watch it only on natural television maybe and it might not be even the event might be not even going on because of covid so it's a shame but it's a very funny it's a very fun thing to see that people are going on natural ice gonna be ice skating yeah boo 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 yeah now go show sure. ah all right fine i'm talking back Jeez, Louise, interrupting, interrupting me in my fucking own, uh, in my own damn thing. I told him not to do that. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's a quite fun, it's a quite fun achievement if, uh, if somebody can do it, you know, a marathon on ice, on natural ice, not just ice, natural ice, which is fucking ex, is fucking amazing because. It's ice skating on natural ice. I don't mind. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Ooh, only ten minutes to go. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying so far what I'm being doing right now. Of course, it might not be. Or everything that I'm doing all the time, but you know, it's it's all, always you know the Marfa project. Marfa project is always the same. What you're gonna be doing? Well, I'm gonna be drawing. I'm gonna be working on the feathers to get either the feathers drawn or get the feathers colored or giving the feathers an additional color to create a certain kind of thing. Yeah, I was grumpy to my dad because he 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 he, he went in in my room without commission. So yeah, I was grumpy on that. I'm sorry. I can be grumpy. I'm not a very grumpy person, but I'm I can be grumpy upon that part. So yeah. Anyway, uh ooh, wait, hold on. Uh na na na. Derek needs to be and Derek needs to be and and Derek needs to be and Dad needs to be. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are all enjoying so far what I'm doing, and uh, let's take a look. Oh boy, I can do this, I can do this this time, this time is so good, it's so good. So yeah, um, today it's Monday, and uh, today today is going to be a glorious day for me, because I am very excited upon getting continuing getting started on my projects that I am being running in the background sneakily because you know not all the projects are not all the projects are on hold no 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 if there were projects on hold I would have said so so yeah um 
also I believe tomorrow uh, tomorrow is Tuesday All right yeah Tuesday so that's how you say it yeah Tuesday um so then I'm gonna have another nice little talk a little chat with with a man who might find me a job so that's gonna be lovely see if that man uh, man finally found some interesting people that we can might be working with so yeah I have been doing business business as usual business so yeah um I hope you guys are so far uh having a great day because you know it's important it's still important having a great day is always important especially on a Monday you know you never find Monday you never find the Monday demon without a hammer so if somebody had to hammer in in their in their face shaft then uh, well you know I'm very sorry but it happens and uh, I hope uh, I hope everything is alright so yeah um oh boy this is going to be a hard one isn't it yep this one is a hard bigger booger a hard bugaroo a hard El Diablos or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, this one is so tough to do. All right. Anyway, uh, I am almost out of out of air and guts. So first saving it before I'm gonna get really wanky with my hands. I'm sloppy. I'm a little bit out of energy right now. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I wanted just to save. Yeah, I'm waiting for this program to respond. I'm not gonna be touching this. So yeah, um, <clears throat> um, yes, yes. So the program is almost crashing. Great. Um, it means that the program is probably in a problematic state, which means that I need to wait for it to uh, respond. In the meantime, um, allow me to grab a book because apparently that's a pr that this problem is a real pain in the ass to fix if I'm not if I'm not gonna be correct with it. Yep. Yep. It's not responding at all. Oh boy. All right. Fine. Grabbing a book for now. Just to see uh, what kind of lovely little picture we're gonna pick. Eeny meeny miny mo, take a finger by the toe. If that toe is way too long, then go ring a gong? Yes, why not? And we're going for the. Ah, well. That took you way too long. Anyway, I was almost at the Triceratops uh, part, but. Apparently, you know, it responded. Oh well. <laughs> Cause voodoo magic to restore you on energy. Yeah. Well, you know, dolls always has a back um, downside. Anyway, I'm gonna be double saving this. <laughs> I'm not gonna be trusting my PC on this. Like, hey, do you remember when I crashed? I'm like, yeah, I remember. I remember when you crashed, and when you crashed, and oh boy, I'm not gonna be happy. As I said before. Monday demon always happens always will happen so yeah uh I was a uh, it damn it always always happening well and bleep there you go I think this is good enough I think I'm I'm gonna be cutting it right here because holy hell um I probably have not the energy to do this um so let's take a little let's take a look before we're gonna be cutting it for today uh so yeah um it looks already all right i'm very happy how far i already am and uh i hope um next uh, and tomorrow uh, we will be able to get everything done uh, so we can be able to get the uh, second color in on these parts. Oh, I forgot to do 
never mind. That's not going to be happening because we need to fix this and that. All right. Um, so, um, I hope you all enjoyed for today. And thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And bye.